What's going on guys? It's your boy the fine man and for those of you who don't know the fine man looks a little different than he normally does Where'd all my hair go? I got a buzz cut first of all because I was curious what it would be like to have a buzz cut Second reason the much more important reason it is in honor of my friend Brian Barcheck He's super popular in the reptile industry and I had the amazing opportunity to actually get to do a collab with him a few years back and uh, Unfortunately, he was diagnosed with cancer so in honor of him in hopes that he recovers nicely Nicely. I got a buzzer soon. Comment below guys. Do you think this makes me look more fine or less fine? I think it makes me look ever so slightly less fine, but it's really not that bad and it's growing back really fast It's barely even a buzz cut anymore. It's just short hair <laughs> Anyway, so I thought this would be the perfect time to react to haircut fails I don't think of my haircut as a fail, but you will think of these haircuts as fails. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> what was he asking for? Wait, why am I wearing headphones? These are pictures. I ain't stupid. I think I lost a bit of smartness along with my hair. I don't understand what the purpose of this haircut was. I don't know, guys. Comment below. What do you think he was actually asking for? Like, there's no way he was asking for that. What? It's like an optical illusion. It's definitely creative. Not what I would personally do, though. Uh, what is that earring on his ear? That looks like a very small cotton ball. Love your teeth as well. I'm just being a jerk about everything in this photo. I can't take any of this seriously because it's all so... What the heck? <laughs> oh, same dude. See, what is that earring? And is that a nose piercing that's sticking out of his nose? It looks like he fell into a cactus and one of the spines just got stuck. I didn't see the long hair in the back before, so good for you. Uh, I mean, like, the only thing that actually looks normal about this photo is his beard cut. That's it. Next one. <laughs> What is that? Are those just really, really big dreadlocks? Okay. You know what this reminds me of? Is the little girl's haircut in freaking Polar Express. <laughs> Next one. Why? If you want to get a photo of yourself with a really bad haircut, then you'd probably be in the middle of a haircut. They're only halfway done with this side, and then you can be like, stop, excuse me, uh, you can do this other side in a sec, let me just take just get one of those ridiculous photos, make people think I get a really bad haircut. And then after that, they shave the other side, and you look fine. Driver. <laughs> but this guy does not look like he was actually getting his hair done. Like, this looks like the finished product. And I'm scared. It kind of looks like a bird egg in a nest. <laughs> you guys can't unsee it now, right? Next one. So this is similar, but it's not all the way around his head. It's just the back. This is the least crazy one I've seen so far, I actually think. Because it's like a mullet. You just forgot to keep the top. It's, I don't know. <laughs> That's really not that bad compared to all the others. It definitely wouldn't be my first choice, but you do you. You know, maybe he's just trying to bring back the old times of like the George Washington cut. Not quite the same, but uh, similar vibes, mostly bald head, and then you got curlies near the bottom. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> I really do wonder what the barber was thinking or what this dude was maybe asking of them Like can you shave out a picture on the back of my head something funny? I guess you know so when people look at the back of my head. They're like, oh cool. <laughs> that's, that's, that's funny. I think they did a good job It's very funny. Yeah, I'd shave the rest off if I were him comment below if you had to get a picture shaved on your head What would it be next one? Here we go so this one is kind of cool because it's a rat throughout the long thing at the end to make the tail. That's great. I know someone in the martial arts community, he had a lizard on the top of his head and he did the same thing with his tail. When you look at it, you can see exactly what it is and it's kind of cool. But like from a distance as like a overall haircut that makes up the shape of your head, I'm like, no. <laughs> Maybe this guy likes rats. Here goes the next one. Bro said, turn me into a planet. I want a ring. That's quite a thick beard you have going on that far down on your neck. You'd have to have quite a hairy neck for it to be as hairy as the top of your head all the way down here. It's a perfect circle. It actually has a glamorous factor to it. Still definitely would not be uh, my first choice as a haircut. That's wonderful. Love, I, I, I don't know. I, I, it's just, it's, it's unsettling. But at the same time, it's kind of nice to look at. It just all connects, you know? You guys feel that way? No? No, just me? Okay. Here's the next one. Hmm. You know what this reminds me of? What was his name? Professor Ray from Despicable Me. That's what he looks like. Didn't he have that sort of haircut? Despicable Me, big guy. Oh my god, it looks exactly like him! <laughs> look, look, look at the kill, it looks exactly like him! Spot on! Maybe that's what he was going for. I'm finally starting to see what they're going for now. This is not just any random haircut. Like, you gotta have a reference, and I'm pretty sure I know what that reference was now. Next one. Well, that's a mohawk. Why? First of all, I'm really, I'm actually impressed. How did you get your hair to stand up like that. It does not look like there's any gel in there. It looks like he woke up like that. That's the thing I sort of really like about the buzz cut is when my hair was longer, it have to be tamed. With this, you don't. With that, yeah, you do. If that's, if that's the way he likes it, it's different, it's unique, it's great for him, I hope. Next one. 
Bro said I want to look like I'm behind bars. His, his bars in front of his face. That's, that's not funny. So he mostly got a buzz cut. This looks like a school photo. So I'm gonna say he probably lost a bet or he's just in on some sort of dare. So sorry for you, man. Next one. Well, if you have a lot of hair, you can have a lot of work room to make whatever you want. That's a violin. Guitar? Cello? What is it? It looks like a violin to me. That's a lot of hair. I'll tell you that much. For what occasion would you wear your hair like that? Maybe a music festival? You don't want to show up at a wedding and just be like, I will play the violin for you. Mm -hmm. Right, it just doesn't make sense. What would it sound like if it was a hairy violin? It wouldn't sound like anything. It would sound like hair. All right, what's the next one? Huh. So he's got some stuff on the top and then some stuff on the sides that is just out of control. And then everything else is gone. Why? Why have you decided to do this? I can't think of a reference that this guy would have been asking for. That one just has me completely dumbfounded. All right, next one. <laughs> I feel really bad for this kid because I actually have a feeling when he was getting this photo, he thought he looked really good. He's smiling like, I have the best haircut. This poor child. It looks exactly like the mullets from Death Kwando and Regular Show. That might have been the reference. Here we go, next one. <laughs> This one's my favorite. I actually really like this one. So this is what I was talking about earlier when we saw the dude pooping on the back of the guy's head. That's funny, I guess, but it makes you cringe more than it makes you laugh. This one does not make me cringe. I actually think this is hilarious, but I, I yeah, I wouldn't exactly go stylish either. All right, the next one. Which way is the guy's head facing? This is a work of art right here. Excellent detail here of someone else's face. Basically living out the life of that dude in the first movie of Harry Potter. He's got a head on the back of his head. From this angle, it's pretty interesting looking but that's the only angle it looks cool from. Yeah, that's, that's all I really have to say about that. <laughs> Once again, not my first choice. So far, the haircut I have right now is probably something I prefer over everything I've seen today. Next one. So this dude's natural hairline is all the way down there. And he said, can you just raise it up and then also create one of those little lines that kind of goes around the side? Because I used to do that, but this one's the size of the Grand Canyon. I'm being such a jerk today, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's so good. This one has meaning. This one has a purpose. It's very aerodynamic, too. <laughs> Make sure you don't touch the back. It'll sting you. <laughs> That's great, man. Like, that one's actually clever. Oh, we got a spider. And it, like, takes up the back of his head to create the stripes. I don't know. I actually like this haircut. It's not, it might actually be the only one that I would consider. If I was into Spider-Man, I'd be like, That's it. That's what I want. But I'm not a huge superhero fan. I like snakes, though. So maybe I can get a snake. That's not a bad haircut. <laughs> Buddy, you might want to wipe off those little extra hairs and then cut off the rest. Oh man, the seriousness in his face too. Like, you know you like this. I know I don't like this. <laughs> No! Another one of those mullet cuts. He's got a stump on the top of his head and then waterfalls going down the sides. Oh, these poor kids. The next one, it's a tsunami. It's a literal tsunami. If you just cut off the front so the wave isn't literally about to crash, it'll actually look good. Today's shout out goes to Ian Huff Studios 7602. Dude, this looks awesome. I would love to see a part two of the most amazing and talented people on the planet. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed that video. It was a really fun one. Thank you so much for the shout out. Shout out to you. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And sorry if you don't like the hair, but I don't care. Hey, that rhymes! Oh, 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 oh,